Welcome back to another SCP reading, dear researchers. Today we're going to be reading SCP-257, Professor William Woodworth Collection of Curiosities. Now without further ado. Item number SCP-257, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Owing to the immobile nature of SCP-257, Site-93 has been erected outside of SCP-257. Access to the interior of SCP-257 is restricted to Level 2 containment and recovery personnel and above. Motion-detecting video cameras have been set up throughout SCP-257's exhibits to monitor any new biological specimens that appear. All biological specimens extracted from SCP-257 are to be examined, logged, and removed from SCP-257. Biological specimens are to be placed in one of Site-93's temporary holding pens for study and threat reclassification. If researchers identify specimens they deem worthy of further research, personnel are to fill out Form 257-12 and follow appropriate research protocols. Specimens are otherwise sent to Biosite 29 for storage and long-term care. Description SCP-257 is a abandoned zoological garden and park located in, redacted, United Kingdom. The zoo itself, described as a collection of curiosities, is named for William Woolsworth, billed as the greatest explorer and naturalist this side of reality, 12-3.14, according to promotional materials found within SCP-257. The zoo was founded in... 1899, to educate the gentlemen and ladies of England about nature and the many strange beasts encountered by explorers on their travels. No permits, building licenses, or planning permissions have been found that correspond to the location or appearance of SCP-257. Several signs and notices indicate that the zoo has been temporarily closed for maintenance, but the dilapidated appearance of the park and outdated equipment suggests that the park has been abandoned for at least 50 years. At irregular intervals, animals will appear within the zoo's confines, through an unknown manner. These animals appear in various enclosures at random intervals. Simultaneously, a handwritten manual appears at the entrance of the zoo inside the ticket booth. These guides detail the proper care and feeding of each organism and sometimes reveals information about its origin and acquisition. The animals vary widely in appearance, behavior, and classification. Many do not appear to be related to any terrestrial animals. There does not appear to be any schedule as to when these animals are delivered. See Acquisition Log W-257 for a complete list of animals delivered in the past, redacted in the tens, years. On a redacted date, the following typewritten note was discovered pinned to the entrance of SCP-257 along with a guide. From the desk of Professor William Woodsworth, explorer and naturalist, to the esteemed gentlemen and zoological enthusiasts of the Special Containment Procedures Foundation, as you are no doubt aware by now, I have decided to entrust you with my zoo and my collection of rare and exotic animals while I take a leave of absence. You are straight-thinking and responsible men of science, and you will no doubt be able to look after them. After my travels through Redacted, Redacted, and Redacted, I've decided to visit the 13th moon of Ennius as the next stop on my safari. Naturalists and learned men such as yourselves will no doubt enjoy studying some of the splendid and vital creatures that I've discovered there. The viewing public will appreciate the new additions to my collection. They're like nothing I've ever seen. I cannot write much longer. My indigen guides and I will be up early tomorrow to check the traps. Keep up the good work. Regards, Professor William Woodsworth. SCP-257 Sample Acquisition Log Log 232A as of a redacted date in the 2000s. The order it will go in is Date, Species, Description, and Notes. 
01319 redacted. Species Elphas sp, unknown, possibly E. antiquus. Five miniature elephants, approximately three feet high, guide states that I encountered these splendid animals while on a tour of the Mediterranean. Notes Retained briefly by Dr. Redacted for study. Genetic link ascertains a relation to the modern African elephant, currently stored at Biosite 29. 01619 Redacted Species Unknown A very large decapodal invertebrate matching no terrestrial species secretes debilitating neurotoxins similar to that of a poison dart frogs. Guide notes that it can detect certain chemicals in the atmosphere and interprets it dot 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 as a territorial challenge, highly temperamental. Currently stored at Biosite 29. 0513 19 redacted. Phygocentrius sp. Dot, question mark. A school of approximately 300 very small piranhas, capable of producing bioluminescence through bacterial symbiosis. God explains that they were procured from the para Amazon, with no further explanation given. Currently stored at Biosite 29. Date 07 20 19 redacted. Brontotherium hatchery. An adult male brontothere. Gind notes that making eye contact with one of these beasts, spectacular as they are, is to your own death notice. Currently stored at Biosite 29. 0915 20 redacted unknown species relevant information moved to document 443/scp redacted see incident report 3-122a for further information reclassified as scp redacted following incident data expunged Requested for SCP-257's upgrade to Keter status denied due to its immobile and containable nature and the containability of the SCP in question. 01520 Redacted Species Rhinoceros sondaicus A baby female Javian rhinoceros no anomalies detected, currently stored at Biosite 29, possible release to a nearby zoological facility, pending. 12 to 20 redacted. Species unknown. A large and leathery pupa. Non-invasive scanning reveals what appears to be a human-sized unknown invertebrate, possibly an insect inside. Guide states that, this one will start laying eggs right after hatching. You will have a thriving colony on your hands in no time. Euthanized and placed in formaldehyde. Currently under study by doctors redacted and redacted. At site, redacted. 4620 redacted. Species unknown. A heavily armored creature with a crustacean-like shell covered with bright yellow vegetation. Guide states to keep this fella under high gravity at all times. Died on 4-23-20 redacted. Remains kept for study. 12-13-20 redacted. Species Kentrosaurus Aethiopicus. A juvenile male Kentrosaurus. Guide describes that the meat, though delicious, is far too hard to safely procure and attracts creatures best left alone. Died on 2-28-20, redacted, due to disease-related complications. Remains retained for study and placed in formaldehyde. Currently available for study. 11-11-20, redacted species. Dinornis sp. Possibly... D. Robustus. 
believed to be a moa egg. Guide notes that, Though the meat of the adults lacks flavor, the eggs, when prepared properly, provide a delicacy for young and old alike. Moa farming has already begun to rise in popularity in Scotland. I hope to establish a breeding population at St. Mary's in the near future. Currently under incubation at Biosite 29. 62120 Redacted. Species Pan Paniscus. A troop of twelve bonobos. Guide notes that the local ape men appear to have domesticated these beasts and turned them into companions. Currently stored at Biosite 29. 92120 Redacted. Species unknown. Two deer sized hexapedal vertebrates covered with chitinous armor. Possessing mouthparts similar to that of an insect's herbivorous. Guide notes that seeing a herd of these magnificent creatures traversing the floodplains of the Martian savanna rivals the greatest terrestrial migrations of wildebeest or ceratopsid. Guide details how to hunt and cook individuals of the species, noting that they are best served filleted and pan fried, and taste like succulent crab. Currently stored at a biosite 29. Unfertilized egg sac removed from now presumed female. 3-29-2000 redacted. Species unknown. A group of 12 birds of unknown genus similar to cranes with large wingspans. Extremely intelligent, capable of imitating human voices and reproducing music. Described as the crown jewel of the collection. Currently stored at Biosite 29. And with this wonderful zoom, that's all the time we have for today, dear researchers. Thank you very much for coming. Good luck out there, and I hope to see you all next time.